Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of a unit study that we did this summer. If you are new here, I'm my name's Mary, and I have two little girls. One is four, gonna be five in August, and another one that just turned seven about a week and a half ago, just for context, so you know when we're talking about the unit study, how old my kids were, and if it might be a good fit for your kiddos. But enough rambling, the unit study we are going to be reviewing is me and my amazing body from the little school of smiths so we are year-round homeschoolers and we thought it'd be a good idea this summer to continue doing a little bit of math a little bit of language arts but in order to kind of make it fun we wanted to do a cool unit study and so we decided on me and my amazing body because the girls wanted to learn about their bodies um, and this one just looks so fun so hands-on had great literature selection videos activities it just looked like it had it all. And I'm here to give you a review and the review was highly positive to the point that I asked my girls when we finished this, what did you think of it? And without me even, you know, prompting them or anything, they both said, this is the most favorite thing they have done in all of homeschool and in all of their life. And I could probably attest to that because every day, hey, are we doing me and my amazing body? Hey, I can't wait. Or when's the next time we're going to do another unit? Um, oh my gosh, this is the last unit. We're done already. I wish there was more. Like those were the things that were coming out of my kiddo's mouth. They loved it so much. So I'm going to review in this video about the program, kind of give you a high level, what it's about, what's included, just so you know, if you're interested in um, possibly purchasing it, you know what you're getting in it. I'm going to go over the books, the spines at least, review the activities, and I'm going to show you some of the cool stuff that we made as well along the way. But uh, first things first, I think the best thing to talk about is what you are going to be covering, because I think if you're going to, if you're looking into this unit study, you want to know what, what's the information going to be covered. So it's 10 units in all. The first unit is my body, which it just goes over your body as a general, you know, high level. Unit two is my skin and senses. Unit three is my skeleton. Unit four is my muscles. Unit five is my heart. Unit six is my blood and veins. Oh, I'm sorry, unit five was my brain. Unit six is my blood and veins. Unit seven is my heart. Unit eight is my lungs. Unit nine is my stomach and intestines. And then unit 10 is my germs. Now this came in a PDF copy. I'll link the website below where you can get it. Um, I printed it off and bound it. Honestly, you could have probably kept it on your iPad or your computer. You probably didn't need to print it out. I just like having things. I'm a, I need things in paper if I can, for the most part. Um, it just helps me when I'm trying to go back and forth between all the activities and all the instructions. It just helps if it's in my hands like this, but otherwise you could totally keep it digital and save yourself some time and paper and money. Now, first things first, I think to discuss is the spines. So the required text is what they call it. So me and my amazing body, shockingly, cause it's called me and my amazing body is the main spine, which is the cutest little book ever. Um, the second one that she recommends that you get is um, DK First Human Body Encyclopedia. This was a really good one and um, a little um, future um, foresight for you guys. We're probably going to be doing elemental sciences, biology for grammar years next year. And this is one of their spines. So I was like, I have no problem purchasing that. However, I got these both from thrift books and it was very, very economically priced. And then they provide a third optional book called Human Body Theater, which I took a look at it and I was like, okay, it's a big graphic novel and it's really cool because you're kind of a, the audience member reading it and this little skeleton walks out on the stage and basically runs you through the entire human body. Um, I went ahead and got it. I was like, it might be a little too old for them. And I will say we probably, we dropped it about halfway through because it was just a lot and I think it helped drive the points home for my oldest, but my youngest, I could see her eyes just glazing over. Um, but I kept it because I actually think it's a really good book and we'll be utilizing it when we re, you know, come back around to the human body. We're going to be using it then when they're both a little bit older. Um, but if you have older learners, it would be a superb book for you to include to help make it, you know, a little bit more challenging for them. And then also something with the human body theater, just to keep note, they do cover sexual reproduction, um, the parts and then the process, but it's very scientific. It's, it's not anything weird. However, if it's something like with my kiddos, they're not old enough that I want them to know about that stuff yet, quite yet, we're not there maturity level wise, um, just 
maybe don't keep it on your shelf for them to just grab if they want to maybe keep it in your shelves where they don't normally go and grab it just to kind of look and do that because my kids are those kids that like to just go grab books off the shelf and they'll look like if it's an encyclopedia or something they love that so keep note of that <laughs> so it's a good book just know if you have younger kiddos and you're not ready to breach that discussion yet just keep it out of their hands where they can freely roam through the book so i'm going to kind of talk to you how we scheduled it so each unit there's a lot included in each unit. You could really extend this where it's, you're doing one unit per week. Um, we, based on our schedule, we were like, okay, we, we wanna try and get this done in five, five weeks. So what we did, since there's 10 units, we did two units a week. And so what that allowed us to do was basically we did Monday through Thursday. The first day on Monday, we went through as much as we could. And then the second day, we would finish up the unit on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we'd do a second unit. And then we'd finish up on Thursday. And that was a perfect pacing for us. It allowed us to do a lot of the activities, but we didn't do everything because we were doing two units a week. Okay, so I think the best thing to do is review how an actual unit is and how it operates. So I'm gonna use the first unit just to show you. So each unit starts you know, with the title and then you got this little person here and, and if it's like your heart, it'll show a body with a heart or muscles and things like that. So it provides you the reading for each uh, spine and then of course the optional human body theater and then it provides additional books from the library we got a ton of books because a ton of them were available at the library and that I'll explain in my scheduling how I did that, how that, how I incorporated that in and then videos and then the activities that are available. We had so much fun with this. Now there's one activity that we did throughout the entire unit that kind of um, like was a connected thread throughout it and it's called the flip book. So my girls did theirs. I'll show them to you. I'm just gonna show you one and I'm gonna hide her face because I don't put them on social media. So the first part is the picture, I laminated it, and then you put a brad nail, I think. No, not a brad nail. <laughs> what is this? These are called those little like D things. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But then the back side of all of it is they would draw, like that was the heart unit, that was the skeleton, that was the muscles. Oh, that was a skeleton. No, wait, what is this? Is this something else? Oh, that was the brain. That was her nerve endings. She did her nerves. I'm looking at this through the, the screen. That was the heart. Oh, that must have been the blood and vessels or um, blood and veins. She did the lungs and the diaphragm and then that's her germs. <laughs> but so you do this flip book. And so each week when you finish up one of the units, um, I think there was only one that we didn't do one for, but um, each week they would do one of these little bodies and then I hole punch it and put it through and so they have this little keepsake now that they can keep with them forever um so that was really cool because i think it kept tying it through they realized these were all different body systems and how it's all included in your body now this book this is what the whole thing is the premises is based on so just so you know this book is a quick read if you you could do it in one sitting in probably 10 minutes but the way that she does it is she has you read. So what we would do is we would sit down, we would read a few pages from this. It would normally be about two or three, whatever we're covering. So this is my skin and senses. So that was, those were the two pages we read. Um, and then we would dive into what was included in First Human Body Encyclopedia, which had really, I mean, this was perfect for my kiddo's age. It was just enough. And honestly gave them probably a little bit more than they needed but they picked out the things that they wanted to remember from the lessons which i thought was great so then so we would read me and my amazing body first when we sat down for a unit then we would do the encyclopedia initially we did do the human body theater so here's what it looks like inside see there's so much in there that's a little much for my four and six year old at that time but this is a really good book and it's really cool and i like that it's a graphic novel because it holds the kiddos interest so we'll definitely be incorporating this as a spine later on when we learn about anatomy and we go a little bit further and a little bit more into detail about it and then i actually added one more spine um it's not required or anything i don't even know if she lists it in the unit but i got the usborns big book of the body i got this on major sale at thriftbooks.com um, and I'll link anything I can down below for you guys but what I love about this is not only are the graphics great it's really good information but it has a lot of well, let's see if I can get this all in here a lot of pages that fold out 
and then the back side of it, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm trying my best here. I mean, it has a couple of these. So I thought that was so good. One was the skeleton, one's the muscles. Um, it goes over the lungs. This next fold out is the intestines, the whole digestive system. I'm sorry, my ring light. It's just dark at night and I needed the light. So but you guys get it. like, how cool is that? So this was another great spine. Honestly, this and then these guys, and if we had an older learner, the human body, they were plenty. You would not need to add any library books at all. Um, honestly, that, that would have been just, just enough information, but my girls and I love books. So I did get a lot of the library books, but I would wait till the second day of the unit. So if this, we were doing this unit on Monday, on Tuesday, then I would do the library books. So we're still talking about the first day. So I went through the spines and then after that, what we would do is we would then go to the videos that are listed. Now, something to note, she does a lot of videos by Operation Ouch, which were great. The girls freaking love them, but they are, some of the videos were 30 plus minutes long. So what I would do is I would play the other videos and then I would save that one for like when we were having lunch downstairs and let them watch that while they finished up their lunch or for just a little bit later in the afternoon or something when they were trying to, you know, wind down and have a chill time. And I would put YouTube on our big TV and let them relax. So that was kind of my little tidbit is save that one for later. And then what I would do is after they finished the videos, if we had time and we weren't rushing off to something, then we would do one of the activities. So we did this um, little uh, a sticky note when we did do that one. So I wrote on sticky notes and the girls took turns putting sticky notes of bar body parts on the body part all over their bodies. They thought that was a hoot. I got a big, I got a photo of them. Um, we also did some other fun activities. So for the lungs, the girls took lunch bags. They drew, uh, drew the air passages and the aioli, uh, aioli, I can't say this word the air sacs on the end. Um, they drew those on the end and then they attach it to straws and then they can go. It kind of just explained to them how their lungs compress and then open back up as the diaphragm pulls down to bring the air in. So that was like a great like visual for them to understand how the lungs work. Um, this other one, she had this link in the um, guide to print out this uh, brain helmet. Does it fit my head? I've kind of got a large head, but yeah. So you see, and so what you do is you print off the two ends and then you just tape it on the inside. And the girls walked around with these all day. I mean, they were playing outside in the backyard in our playground with this. I'm pretty sure our neighbors were like, oh, those weird uh, weird homeschool kids wearing helmets out there of brains. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. My neighbors are homeschooled too, so they totally get us. Um, but so that was really cool. And it has all of it, you know, temporal lobe. What does this do? It's rhythm and annotation of speech, hearing. It talks about which part of the brain basically manages what part of your body. So this one was really cool, especially for my oldest. She's like, wait, that does up here does this? I was like, yes. So that was kind of neat for them. Um, another thing we did was, oh, for the um, skin and senses. Um, so part one of the activities is um, you crack a white egg and you crack a brown egg together because it's talking about just because the color of our skin is different, our insides are all the same. We are all at one. So we did little hands of the world with different colors, which I had to mix because we don't have all these different colors. So that was actually kind of fun for me mixing colors for paint. So the girls created these, which they had so much fun doing this. And then also um, for senses, so they got to print these out and then they would draw a picture underneath of like something you would see. So a flower, something you would hear. I don't remember what that was. I think it was like a piano or something. That was our version of a piano. I don't know. Uh, something they would touch. I'm gonna be honest with you. She told me at the time and it totally makes sense. Okay, taste, lollipop. You see where I'm going here. And then smell. My kid drew a fart. I'm gonna leave that in here. I'm not even gonna take that out. As we say, because we watched Bluey, she drew a fluffy, but it's a fart. I don't know how I didn't catch that the first time around. <laughs> well, she's, you know, that's, you know, that's my kid. <laughs> but okay, as you can tell, we had so much fun with the activities. So um, what we would do is, yes, so the first day we'd finish up with the activity 
And then the next day, what we would do is then we would read all the library books we got, or we would do a second activity, or we would do an activity if we didn't have time the first day. On, um, and then we would close out the second day with finishing up the, um, the flip book uh, portion for that day. So like draw whatever they needed to draw. So closing thoughts, because I don't want to make this too long because I, I tend to get chatty in my videos. Overall, girls absolutely loved it. I loved it as a mom because it was so easy to implement the way she had everything laid out at the front of the um, at the front of it she has a whole general supply list and then what week what supplies you need for which week so it was easy for me to get everything together I honestly don't think I had I had to buy plastic straws because we use reusable straws metal straws so I had to buy straws for one of the activities that was it. Everything else was things that you would find around your household and probably other people do have straws at their house. So that's just me being weird. But, um, but yeah, I mean, everything was accessible. It bare, it didn't cost us a heaping pounds of money. Um, she provided great videos, great extra additional books. Um, oh, she did. So she did list in the additional book list, the Osborne big, uh, big book of the body. I didn't even realize that it was on there. I just found it and came across. I was like, I'm totally getting this for, I think it's right up the alley for this unit study, but it was hands-on. It was visual. It was auditory. It was all the learning styles. So no matter how, what kind of learner your learner is, they will connect with this material. Um, I think it's really great for younger to, I mean, honestly, all of elementary school and even my four-year-old was able to keep up and take some information from it. But more importantly, she had fun with it. And that's that's really what I was going for for the summer. Um, but 100% recommend. Give it 10 thumbs up. Um, it was really, really well done, really well laid out for me and easy to implement. If you guys have any questions about the program, leave them down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. I'll link anything I can down below for you guys. And um, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you stick around and I will see you guys in my next video.